And joining me now from Ottawa is the page who protested, Bridget DePape. Bridget, why did you do this? Harper's agenda is disastrous for people living in Canada and for my generation. He's blowing billions of dollars on prisons, uh, expanding military missions, cutting valuable social services, and destroying the climate. And when what we really need is a transition towards a green and just economy. So how long had you planned to hold up that sign? Stop Harper, it said. Uh, yeah, it was only recently that I decided that now is the time. We have four years of Harper majority, and we can't stop Harper's agenda within the parliamentary system. We need to engage in civil disobedience. We need to support social movements, uh, workers, women's rights movements, environmental movements. This is the only way we're going to see real change. Why did you want to be a page, and why do you feel that this was the appropriate place to air your political views? I think that Harper's agenda is so dangerous that it called for doing something that is, is different. You know, it calls for civil disobedience. So you have obviously been thinking about doing this for the last, what, year? You've been a page for almost a year? Yeah. And so what? Uh, yeah, I've been a page for a year and just recently decided to do this. Just recently, within what, days, weeks after the election? A few days. And what happened to you once you held up that sign and we saw you escorted out of the Senate? What was said to you? And what did you say to them? Uh, no real verbal exchanges were had. I, I think that the, the main message, you know, was written on the sign, Stop Harper. Uh, most Canadians, in fact, one out of four eligible voters only voted for the Conservatives. And so I think we really need to take action. And frankly, Canada needs an Arab Spring, and now is the time. And so you've been fired from your position. I have. Any regrets? Think you might wake up tomorrow and wish you hadn't done this? Absolutely not. Uh, the only real change we've ever seen has been through social movements, uh, the civil rights movement, for example. And now is the time for ours. So you feel Parliament is the place to do it? I think that within Parliament, we're not going to be able to stop Harper's majority real rule for these four years. So we need to take action through civil disobedience, find creative ways to do it. People of all walks of life uh, finding creative ways uh, within their workplaces or in the streets. Bridget DePay, thanks very much for talking with us this evening. Appreciate it.